films that they want to make now, they're films that I don't want to make, and the films I do want to make, they don't want to make. I think you will find these accommodating, they're quite dry. With the war going on, the timing worked. The picture was such a hit, it was phenomenal. What I'm doing is simply reflecting what I see and feel. If it's ugly, that's what I see. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. Popeye. Occasionally, what I do becomes very successful, and, and then it, I'm a failure and a has-been, and then I cross back again. To me, I'm going in a straight line. Everybody else is just going like this. Is the player your revenge against Hollywood? So, uh, what's the story? Well, I want Bruce Willis. Hollywood has always maintained its objectivity, which is greed and trying to get rid of all the artists. Kicking Hollywood's ass. One guy said he financed the film if Bob would rewrite the ending. And who turns out to have done it? Oh, I, I couldn't tell you that. It, it would spoil it for you. Oh, but none of us will see it. <laughs> Bob is totally cool. The British Lottery Fund agreed to back the film. He won the lottery. His films just didn't look or sound like anyone else's, and they still don't. Bob loved to throw a party. I would catch him sitting in a corner just looking at everybody with that grin on his face. It was like one of his movies, and he loved the cast. I equate films with sandcastles. You get a bunch of mates, and you say, oh, we'll build this great sandcastle. Then the tide comes in, and it's just smooth sand. And that structure you made is in everybody's memory, and that's it. That was terrific. I just want to do one more, please. Right.